Hello, my name is Rocket, and welcome back to episode 30 of our post night playthrough. Now let's collect our rewards, if we can, yes we can. We get 32,000 coins, and the XP doesn't really matter. And the only real update I have since our last episode yesterday is that I got another <laughs> Pearl Almanac, but we already don't need to use that. I also got the Quiff Quiftal T, which is for Camellia. We are only missing uh, Senna's item, which are the mysterious eggs, I think. So with that, let's continue our daily shenanigans. You can see our bounties there already, because I was probably going to forget. So we have the Bandit Chief, watch an end of the 10 Bandit Rangers. Let's receive a gift from them and see if we actually get the last item we need. But for now, we will just continue. Oh, something else I could talk about. Uh, I didn't really get the necessary items for me to get a new upgraded item that I like. What if I just give her the other almanac? Alright, nothing really happens. I just want to test that. Uh, yeah, so I, I, I don't think I have enough resources to fully upgrade any items because, you know, I haven't played that much on the Fractured Forest yet. We're only starting, so it's a bit weird, but we'll get there eventually. So our bounties for today in the Shallow Bay are 30 Poobles, or Blobbles, 10 Crab Buckets, and 10 Pirate Bites, and some PhD. Let's see if we can actually get No, damn. I'm really trying to get it. I, I don't think I even checked the, the chop because, you know, they don't really have anything that we currently want, unfortunately. Only well, maybe the rings for sale. That's a lot later, and I need a lot more gems for that. Oh, almost forgot about the bounties. I have 10 Skullbin Guards, 10 Scanner Raiders, and 10 Baron Skis. And then you have bacon here. Hello, bacon. Let's give him some coffee. And damn! All right, I'm gonna. I'm really just paying attention to see if we get it. We're really close to getting Senna as five star, five parts. Sorry, but we don't really have her special item, which is unfortunate. But maybe we'll get it by the time we do have the five hearts. And nothing we really want for sale here, so let's move on to Calmont. Let's see here, our bounties are 30 buffles, 30 piffs, and watch an ad. We have Lily here. Oh, we need to check if they have your item, Lily, before I forget. But we can receive a gift from you, so there we go. Let's go to Dali, which is almost at four hearts as well. Should be four hearts for this. Yes. There we go. One step closer to getting the new memory of hers. The which is the the Emerine wine. We also have Camellia here. Which you do which she did get her special item, but for now we're just gonna give her the salad. Unless you get another quick vault tea. We don't really want anything here. Oh, yeah, the skaters. I almost forgot again. But no, it's right there, so here we go. And let's feed Lily the skatish. Did we receive a gift from you? No, we didn't. I almost forgot about that as well. There we go. Now we can go to the Valley of Gold and then finally return to the Fractured Forest. The plot should start to develop, so I'm interested in what will happen. We have 30 Mimics, 30 Golden Bombers, and 10 Minor Captures. We have Topaz here, which I think is spelled correctly. I need to go check if there's um, something for him in the Merchant. We have Asteria as well. The coffee. Let's check the Merchant. Do he does not have anything. Alright, let's go to the Fractured Forest.
and our bounties for today are the hooligan chieftain which is you know the final boss we probably won't be able to get that one we have 30 wallens and 30 hooligans and yeah let's check the fan oh there's nothing that we want we can buy a mystique for 40 oh my god i can't 480,000. Why was that so hard? It shouldn't have been that hard. You also have the Mithril Bar, which, which we do have two of them, but I will buy another one in case we need more of it. Because if you do remember last episode, we didn't we couldn't buy the Phantom Crown because we didn't have the, the resources of the Mithril Bar that we just bought. And as you can see, we're still missing a bit of Willow Mass to get the Primal Guard. And yeah, what, what was... What else were we missing? Not really sure. Oh, the Night Bane. We're missing a Crystal Bit. We can actually buy a Crystal Bit, should we? I mean, it's really not that. It's really not worth it. But nah, nah, nah. Let's just keep this. Uh, I think we're ready. So let's continue and start the Spectra Pass. Spectra Pass. Spectra Path. That's a little weird. Yeah. Alright, already good screen freeze, that's always a good sign. We should be able to get the enough the necessary masks this uh, in this shroud, I think. But hey, we'll we'll find out in a little bit. I'm pretty sure we'll find enough of them to get it. Oh and Tedric again. a little bit of dialogue that we already do that we go selping nothing really do until now but let's just move on to the spectra path stage two i keep charging because i don't even know but yeah don't do it like me just wait and attack him first and then charge But oh well, I think we're, we'll be fine anyways. We'll also be doing a lot more division quests, now that we would just one-shot all the ninjas. And let's start to go. Should we talk to the alchemist, see if there's some unique dialogue? Let's do it. If it doesn't bring us there right now. Doesn't seem like it. Maybe it's just a next stage thing. Yeah. Alright, let's just move on then. So like I was saying, I'm doing a lot more division quests because, you know, now that we've been shot all the ninjas, I'm getting a lot more of those division tokens which give us 50 points in our in our our rank so you know 50 credits that's a lot especially for how easy it is after you actually have a decent build to just defeat even the s rank the s ranked one and that's you know that it's like just by defeating the s rank division you get three Division tokens, which is equal to 150 credits. That's a lot. Oh, so it's a different alchemist. It's alchemist Endius. Oh, he looks really cool, though. Wow, he looks really cool. He's one of the coolest characters that I've seen here. And we got the Primal Guard. Wow, he actually looked really amazing. We really liked him. But with that, that was not the alchemist we needed to talk to. I was trying to talk to Siegfried and it was actually Andius. But with that, let's just move on to the spe Spectre Path Stage 4. I can't say that word without choking or something. It's kind of weird. A weird word.
I am. Just chilling for now. I think the rest of the playthrough will be just pretty chill. Just, uh, just going through the plot. No real worries. And, you know, that'll be fun as well. Excel. All right, so we're still just developing the plot here. So the first, the West War Dwayne was about you know getting people to just be at the camp, and now we're kind of uh, understanding the routes and what people are doing. So with, with which task each person has and things like that. Let's go to the Spectre Pass stage 5 and see if anything new happens here. And at the end we'll see if we actually have enough to change to the... The Nightbane Saber, that'll be awesome, and see Tedric again. Alright, so it seems that the cure is starting to work. Which is cool, which is nice, you know. With that, we have finished the Spectre Path, which means let's go this, to the Spectre Path special route. As you can see, actually, the Fracture Forest has a lot to do, huh? That's crazy, huh? But hey, let's go to the Spectre Path special route and see how it goes. So, I didn't see which the enemy there was, but it was probably a Wallow or, um, you know, the little one, the Wall again or something. That would be really good because that way I can easily collect the masks necessary for my final build, for my final equipment items. I like the Nightbane Saber. So, you know, a little bit better. Each of them will grant us a little bit of different items which you can easily obtain if we just do. If we just grind a little bit and we can get the, the endgame build very soon. I want to see how we look, if it looks cool. I, I think we actually don't look that bad with this build. We actually look kind of... You know, we have different colors in each of our equipment pieces. We look kind of cool, right? Yeah, I just look silly, but I think I look cool. Who knows? I do like it. I still don't know these little, the little ones, what's their name? Maybe we'll find it in a bounty someday because I probably will forget to research what his name is. Yeah, I also, I don't know their names. I know the Niars, the Hooligans, these ones are the Prongles, right? The Wallows. What are the little ones? At least we're not finding... The, the big one, the big wallow, which has the mic ability. That would be pretty annoying to deal with. But with that, we have finished the Spectre Path. And we have defeated 30 wallows, so we get that special... Or the bounty completed, not anything special. And uh, we have any S rank, we do not. So I want to do uh, one delivery quest and an S-rank division quest 
to finish off the episode. Let's add that to our finishing, you know, to our end recording tradition because, you know, I want to grind those division quests as much as I can so I can get better rewards at the at the seasons. And yeah, I'll be doing that as well, which will be really cool. It's gonna be a while to actually be able to even defeat them. And look at Mike. Or the, you know, the big wallow. I never, I don't know his name. <laughs> it just reminds me of the Mike. But like I was saying, it, it took me a, a little while to actually be able to defeat the vision quest. And now that we're able, I need to, you know, just always be doing it when I can to get all those goody Pyro Dash tokens. So we can, you know, get better rewards. You know, still have all of Cassandra's items to buy and things like that. So we need as much as we can get. Alright, let's go to Mika. And we can actually get the Primal Garb upgraded. So let's do that. Boom. Which means you get... Double up recovers 10% of health points when you dodge an attack. Remember that with this specific build, you have 70% dodge rate. That's so much. And boom, there we go. Now we want the Phantom Crown, but you know, that's not really for sale. So we'll have to wait on that. But hey, one step closer to our final build. We're even stronger than we were before, which is crazy, because we're basically unkillable. So that's pretty fun, actually. But with that, let's go and finish off this episode by doing an S-rank division quest from Solomon. And defeat some ninjas. I'm not really sure if they're, they're, you know, their actual name is the ninjas or something, but, you know, they throw shurikens, they have katanas, so I'm just gonna call them ninjas. Hopefully, they are... Uh, call them the escape ninjas or something because yeah, I might be, I might be really wrong on that but, hey. We have some mages And there we go have a grand chest with three division tokens and yeah with that we are finished one step closer to finishing the fractured force and one step closer to finishing this playthrough but yeah that's it next episode we will be dealing with the wallow hollow and that will be fun hopefully you, you did enjoy this episode thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time